Hey guys, it's Morgan from Island Cycles. Heading into work on a Saturday morning. Going a little early today because my boys and I are gonna ride uh, tomorrow and all of our bikes are um, still jetted for Oklahoma. So, gotta get that dialed in. Also, Daisy, we're putting her back together today, this morning, to test the theory of what I did to fix it. If you haven't watched those videos, we got a whole series on the Daisy experiment that's going on right now. Come on up to him. There's the dog. Ha! This is how we drive. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, uh, it really... <laughs> that dog. We're gonna put Daisy back together, fire it up, check it out. We're gonna test that tomorrow. Get the boys' bikes dialed in. Hopefully get all that done before we open up at 10. And then you can just follow me through the day. Let's see how the day goes at Highland Cycles on a Saturday in the fall. Never know. Guys, if uh, if you like what we're doing, man, we'd just love a subscribe. Uh, that would just be awesome. Also, like and share the video. That'd be really cool. Again, only if we've earned it. If we haven't, fair enough. Um, but we are definitely trying to build a channel full of good entertainment, education, and honestly, I'm competitive and I'm trying to go after those uh, bigger motorcycle channels because I think I can do a better job. Comment below um, if you get a chance on what we can do to do a better job than some of those other guys. Have a great day. Join me. So before I get to work on my bikes this morning, I gotta finish the uh, Husky up here. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, we got a top end video on this. Uh, we did everything from take it apart, put it all the way back together. So if you want to learn more about the new uh, KTM motor and doing a top end on one, check that out. There'll be a link in the description of this video. Uh, but yeah, it's all good. Just gotta put the air filter back in it button it all back up and be ready to rock and roll, uh, then we can pull my bikes up. Best spray air filter oil, period. Quick plug for my friends over at Moto Minded. Uh, this little thing, it's, uh, they call it their AFD or air filter disc, is an absolute key to your KTM 17 or newer KTM air filter situation because this design from KTM is dumb and it wants to cut holes in air filters so we're gonna put this on I'll show you how it works so real simple that they go together if you can't figure that out God help you there we go then they're still usually like a little nubbin so let's take a file Smooth, boom. Problem solved. Thanks, Moto Minded and Chris Vestal. Appreciate it. So, <laughs> as always, I found something interesting to show you guys. Um, man, running a shop, you just see a little bit of everything. So I just rebuilt the top end of this motor. Uh, there weren't really any complaints, uh, other than it was just time. But it's a good thing we're doing this because I just found something that would probably blow up his motor again. So, you look in here, and I always look at an air filter situation because you never know. Like, anyway, just good thing to look at when you're working on your bike. See this film of dust there? So that's not good. See that? That's because the air filter wasn't sealing. And the reason is that's not down. So upon further inspection, Come around here, and you look, and you see that the filter, the air boot is not in the air box right. My guess is, because he's got electron carburetor on there, and it's, they're usually a little bit longer, and he was probably having to fight with it to get it on there, and he probably got that undone. And uh, yeah, that could have caused lots more problems. So we're gonna fix that right now. Okay, I think we got it, but I'm going to put a bunch of grease on the rim of this because 
I, I'm not sure if that's going to seal. Um, but when you're putting these things together, uh, I mean, even if you're just cleaning your air filter, really, when you put it in, you should feel around the whole thing and make sure it's sealing. Uh, it's not something we all do all the time because we get in a hurry, want to go ride, but it could be key to keeping your motor from blowing up. So, get some gloves on. It feels good now. I think we're good, but uh, I'm going to tell the customer to keep an eye on that because that would suck. We just put a brand new everything in this thing and then have it go eek. So, go ahead and button her back up. Get after my bikes. All right, time to test the theory. <laughs> I've helicoiled all six holes in the cylinder for the head. Now we're gonna put it all together and run it. I'm gonna take it out and ride with my kids tomorrow and see what happens. Honestly, no idea. More copy. So far, no good. Oh wait, we gotta turn the gas on. <laughs> All right, now the gas is on, so let's try it again. Next on the list is an old YZ. Uh, man, a super clean YZ250F. Check this thing out. Like, even the frame isn't all scuffed up and stuff. This is a 03 YZ250F that still has those stickers on it. And I believe the stock tires, 739 and 739. Uh, this may be the cleanest 03 YZ250F we've ever seen in this shop. Uh, yeah, this is amazing. Uh, needless to say, it's got to have a carburetor clean because it's been sitting around obviously more than it's been ridden. But man, this thing is sweet. Kid just bought it for 800 bucks, so. Uh, I'm stoked for him. We're going to go through it, clean the carburetor up, actually rebuild it, got a bunch of new parts for the carb, and uh, yeah, service it up and get him out riding. All right, after a little dip in our ultrasonic spa, the uh, carburetor is ready to be rebuilt and put back on this amazingly clean YZ250F. I still can't get over how stinking clean this thing is. Man, this kid got a great find. So yeah, uh, going to be putting all balls carburetor kit in it um, honestly these are great I've had not the best luck with all balls fork seals and some other things but their carb kits seem to be great so um, I'll put a link in the description where you can find those things from Amazon they are great they come with pretty much everything you need the jets are always for sea level so that may not help uh, depending on where you live but they even come with a new fuel screw like the adjustable one and everything so yeah they're pretty cool we'll go ahead and put this thing back together Get her back on the bike, fire up, and see how she runs. This isn't a carburetor rebuild video, but I just want to mention something that if you are rebuilding a carburetor or taking one apart to clean it, make sure you take the accelerator pump apart because that's a hidden little place where that rubber diaphragm can go south and then cause all kinds of problems that are pretty hard to diagnose if you don't know what you're doing. So make sure you take that thing off, uh, take a good look at it. Also, um, these kits, they don't come with a new diaphragm, but they do come with the new O-rings for down in there, so it's pretty cool. All right, we're out here in Peach Valley with my boys, and we're gonna take old Daisy out. We just rebuilt her. We got helicoils and all the cylinder uh, bolts. I don't know how it's gonna work, but let's uh, let's go find out. There's only one way to find out, right?
Oh, my God.